हे एवरी वन वेलकम टू कोड हामरी टूडे वी आर गोइंग टू सोल लीड क्रिप्टो लोम आई वन सेवन फोर नाइन मैक्सिमम एब्सोल्यूट सम ऑफ एनी सब एरे इन दिस क्वेश्चन वी आर गोइंग टू यूटिलाइज अ कंसेप्ट ऑफ कैडेंस एल्गोरिदम विच इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट एल्गोरिदम इन एरे टॉपिक ऑल्सो बिफोर मूविंग टू दिस क्वेश्चन वी हैव अ प्रेरिक्विजिट क्वेश्चन दैट इज लीड कोड फिफ्टी थ्री मैक्सिमम सब एरे इन दिस क्वेश्चन वी आर गिवन एन एरे एंड वी हैव टू रिटर्न द मैक्सिमम सब एरे सम and this question is very important it has been asked in load of tier 1 companies recently and it is a must solve question so you can see all the big names google amazon microsoft meta linkedin and so many more if you have not solved this question i would suggest you to have a look on the video in the description below or try to attempt this question by your own in this question we go from brute force of n cube time complexity to n square if we use a prefix array and then ultimately we go to order of n time using cadence algorithm so that's why the cadence algorithm is important to optimize this kind of problem and this is similar kind of problem like a maximum sub array let's have a look on the problem statement you are given an integer array nums the absolute sum of any sub array is this the take the sum of all the elements in the sub array and then do the ob abs absolute of it and after that what return the maximum absolute sum of any sub array of the nums whatever is the maximum absolute absolute sum you are getting you have to return that let's try to understand using an example let's say this is the problem statement this integer array is given and you have to return the maximum absolute sum of any sub array okay and what is a sub array sub array is a contiguous piece of elements from this array let's say if i cut this piece so this piece will be called as sub array this minus 2 itself is a sub array and the whole array is also a sub array so these are called sub array when we pick some elements and if those elements are contiguous those are called sub array and sub array sum is sum of all the elements in that sub array let's say that sub array is going from index i to j if i take sum of all the elements from i to j that will be called sub array sum and we have to maximize it and along with that this sub array sum we don't have to take we have to take more absolute sub array sum this question is differ from this maximum sub array by this just abs absolute sum instead of sum of that sub array we have to take absolute sum and what is absolute sum whatever sum you are getting you just have to take the modulus of that okay now problem statement is clear that we have to return the maximum absolute sum of any sub array let's say we don't have to find the maximum absolute sum we just have to find the maximum sum in this case this problem will become the same as the maximum sub array if we go with the brute force solution in the brute force solution we have to figure out all the sub arrays and to check that what we can do is we can use nested loops one pointer is going from 0 to n minus 1 and the second pointer is going from not 0 i to n minus 1 using two loops we are able to figure out all the sub arrays starting with i and ending with j or in other words you can say figuring out all the sub arrays starting with zero so this is the first sub array and this is second this is third this is fourth and so on and starting with five this is first sub array starting with five second third and so on like this so in the brute force we can go and explore all the sub arrays starting from i and ending at j using two loops one loop is going n time and second loop is also running n time using nested loops we are able to get the starting index on ending index of every sub array in n square time and now this is up to you how you are going to figure out the sum of that sub array if you are going to take a order of n time to figure out the sum the time complexity of this approach is going to be n cube overall or if you want to optimize it you can take some kind of prefix array and every ith item in the prefix array is going to take sum of 0 to i so once you have captured this prefix array 
if I ask you that you have to give me sum from index i to j. If you know the sum of 0 to j, then take that sum, subtract sum of 0 to i minus 1. Then you will be able to get the sum of i to j in order of one time. So this is the optimization you can apply on the brute force solution. In this case, the time complexity will reduce from n cube to n square. But we still have to reduce the time complexity to order of n. And for that, we have an algorithm, cadence algorithm. And in the cadence algorithm, we do something like this. Let's take the same example. In the cadence example, we do the iteration over the array. And while doing the iteration, we keep track of the temporary sum. Temporary sum is the temp sum of all the elements we have encountered so far. Let's say I'm starting at this and I'm going in this direction. First element I'm encountering is minus two. Temp is initially initialized with zero. So temp will become minus two. And up along with the temp, I can take another variable to store my answer. Let's say that is maximum. Currently, we are just trying to figure out maximum sub array sum. That absolute part we will do later on. So maximum, let's say maximum is minus infinity in the starting. This is minus two. Minus two is better than minus infinity. So I will just update it that maximum sum so far is minus two. Now I will again try to move in the same direction. And now the temporary sum is from minus two plus five, it will become three. Three is better than minus two. So three is also be updated in max. So now, so far, maximum severity sum is three. Now, if I try to go to this direction again, I'm encountering seven. So three plus seven is 10. 10 is updated here. Maximum absolute sum is 10. And now if I go again, so 10 minus 20, which is minus 10. Now the sum temporary sum is coming as minus 10. And the maximum sum I have captured so far is 10. So this is not the better one. So I will leave my maximum sum as, as it is. And I will just say, see, uh, I'll just see what I have to do. Now you have to decide one thing that from here to here, your sum is negative. And from here onwards, you want to figure out the maximum sum. You want to make your sum maximize. Let's say you have captured X. Okay. If you include the previous part, it will be something, let's say it is K. It will be X minus K. If you include the previous part, if you do not include the previous part, it will be X and K is a positive number. And this value is always less than X. So that's why it is good that we discard the previous part, discard the part who is negative. So if any part is giving me negative value, I will just di directly discard it and start do a fresh starting from here, keeping temporary equal to zero. This is actually a cadence algorithm. If you are not able to cope up with me, just watch the dedicated video on the cadence algorithm, which is for the problem maximum sub array. Okay. So I hope you got the idea that whenever a portion is giving me negative value, I'll just have to discard it and do a fresh starting. And now this is my cadence algorithm. Let me uh, write the pseudo code for that. We are doing one iteration and we are keeping track of this variable and this maximum variable. Let's make the iteration. So firstly, I have taken two variables. My temporary is initialized with zero. My max is with minus infinity. So this is for every number in nums. Now, first of all, I will add my number current number to the temporary sum and then I will see if the temporary sum is better than the previously captured answer. If, or you can say that previously captured value is obsolete or less than maximum value is less than T. It means I can update my maximum value. Maximum value will be equal to T. And the other case was, is it is parallel to this. Other case is that whenever my piece is getting negative, there is no need to take it forward. If t is less than zero, then just make t equal to zero. There is no need to consider this t. And this much is the cadence algorithm. This maximum sub array sum is captured. And now 
let's come to our main problem in our in our problem we require absolute sum and we have to maximize the absolute sum of the subarray let's think of a possibility where all the elements are negative all the elements are negative in this case maximum subarray sum is minus 20 and if i make the absolute of it it will be 20 but as per the problem statement maximum abso, maximum subarray sum maximum absolute subarray sum is something take sum of all the elements and then after that take modulus so if i take sum of all the elements minus 1 plus minus 4 plus minus 10 plus minus 20 which is 30 and 5 minus 35 if i take modulus of 35 it will be 35 so in this example maximum absolute subarray sum is 35 and what is this minus 35 if you try to analyze this minus 35 is the minimum subarray sum minimum subarray sum if you are going to take the modulus in the ending okay value if you are taking modulus in the ending if value is negative then you are going to append minus 1 outside of the value so if the value is as negative as possible after add after multiplying with minus 1 it will become more positive so let's say we have two values minus 10 and minus 90 if i take modulus 90 will be better than 10 so 90 will be my answer so what i'm trying to say is that you have to figure out maximum subarray sum absolute value if let's say this value is positive then there is no need to change it you have already done 50 percent of the problem if let's say there is possibility when we capture the minimum subarray sum and that minimum subarray sum is minus 100 and maximum subarray sum was 90 so after taking modulus this minimum subarray sum will become 100 so in this case our approach is going to give us wrong answer so we are left with two possibility firstly capture the maximum subarray sum and secondly capture the minimum subarray sum this ma maximum subarray sum you have captured let's say this is a and this is b what we can do is we can return maximum of abs of a comma absolute of b so whatever is the maximum you can return that that will be my answer but this we know that maximum subarray sum we can we can get using cadence algorithm but how do we get the minimum subarray sum in the maximum subarray sum what we did is we took some approach that we are going in this direction and whenever this portion is giving me negative value i am discarding this option because i want the maximum sum but if i want the minimum sum in that case what i will discard i will discard the portion which is giving me positive value if some portion is giving me positive answer that i'm just discard it and then cap keep capturing min negative values so in this way we will get the minimum subarray sum maximum subarray sum just opposite of the cadence algorithm so this much we have to do and what is going to be the time complexity of this approach firstly we are cap calculating maximum subarray sum then minimum subarray sum both are order of n operation so in total it is going to be order of n time and what about the space we are not taking any extra space space is constant so time is order of n space is constant of my solution so this maximum absolute sum of any subarray can be found out if i utilize cadence algorithm to find maximum subarray sum and minimum subarray sum and just return the absolute like maximum of the absolute value of any of these okay i hope you understood this approach this is just a basic cadence algorithm this is the heart of the code heart of this question if you are able to understand this you will be able to complete all the question based out of this cadence algorithm okay now let's try to code this approach as per our discussion 
माई आंसर वुड बी मैथ डोट मैक्स मैक्स ऑफ वट वैल्यू एब्सोल्यूट वैल्यू ऑफ मिनिमम सबेरिसम एंड मैक्सिम सबेरिसम मैथ डोट ए बी एस मिनिमम सबेरिसम पासिंग नम्स एंड देन मैथ डोट एब्सोल्यूट मैक्सिम सबेरिसम एंड देन नम्स सो दिस इज माई आंसर आई जस्ट हैव टू इम्प्लीमेंट दीज टू फंक्शन एंड दीज टू फंक्शन विल बी बेस्ड आउट ऑफ कैडेंस एलगोरिथम सो प्राइवेट इन फर्स्टली लेट्स implement the maximum severism the standard cadence algorithm maximum severism this is nums first i am taking a temporary variable and then my maximum variable integer dot min value and now i will be iterating over every num in nums add the current value in the temp temporary sum if my maximum value is not that maximum that is t is greater than maximum i will update the maximum is equal to to t if t at any moment is going less than 0 it means there is no need to carry forward t or keep t with us just reset the t temporary variable reset to 0 and in the end we are going to have our correct maximum maximum of any sub array maximum sub of any sub array and in the second part i will be implementing minimum sub array sum integer array it is taking nums it is also requiring temporary variable up along with that minimum variable and minimum variable will be initialized with maximum value now i need to iterate num for every nums just add the value of num in my temporary variable if my minimum is not that minimum that is if minimum is greater than t minimum will be updated and when i have to reset t because in this case i am requiring minimum sub array sum to keep the minimum sub array sum if my current sum is positive just keep discarding that if t is greater than 0 make t is equal to zero and in the end we are going to have minimum subarism minimum subarism can be let's say minus 100 and this is let's say positive 100 or can minus 50 so that's why we require absolute here and whatever is the bigger absolute value will return that let's test over sample test cases sample test cases are passed i'm submitting the problem this is submitted successfully i hope you have understood the approach and if you have any doubt you can comment down below thanks for watching bye bye